Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to House of the Dying Sun. It's a dogfighting game that came out a couple years ago. I'd never heard of it before, um, but during the Steam Summer Sale, I was looking around for like interesting indie gems to give a shot. And uh, someone had suggested this one uh, on Twitter, and I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. So I guess let's just go. The Empire's uh, enemies... Okay, the Emperor is dead. The Royal Guard has been scattered. And a false king sits upon the throne. Execute the Emperor's final edict. Hunt the traitor lords. And bring ruin to their people. You, the flame, the last Imperial stronghold. I'm gonna have to turn this down a bit. Okay, there we go. Settings. Back down. Okay, do we think 20%? It might even be 10%. Oh, why is the music so quiet in comparison? There we go. Fighter pitch inverted. Everything else is good. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Right stick to roll. Yep. Boy, I bet this would be absolutely sick in VR with a uh, with a flight stick. Drifting, left shoulder to cut engine powder power and engage drift mode. Oh, there's actually dialogue there. They're saying things. Originally, this game was going to have an evolving campaign, but the dev couldn't make it work. That's a shame. Because it seems kind of sick. Okay. Uh, select target. No, that's just weapons. Extra reload active weapon. Cycle the main cannons. So I've got a shotgun as well. Heavy weapons. Show weapon selector. Oh, keep holding Y and use the radial to select your heavy weapon. Heavy weapon ammo is only refilled between missions. Extremely effective against large targets, but may be shot down by point defenses. Okay, aim at each container and tap the right shoulder to set target. Oh, I see. Just tap it. I really like the visual style. Are there more? Oh yeah, there are. The objectives are maybe being marked? Nope, not that one. Oh, I see. That one down there. Okay. Right shoulder for more. Nearest enemy fighter. No like craft to target. Training is done. Okay, when all main objectives are complete, you must return to the armada. Aim your fighter at the extraction extraction point. Which is here-ish? Okay. Rendezvous warp point. Hold the A to warp. There we go. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling like, oh wait. Didn't No Man's Sky have like a new um like bounty hunter flight mode that they were kind of trying to buff up. So less involved elite dangerous? Kind of. 
I'm thinking more like um, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. More than anything else. Okay. Choose next target. 12 Traitor Lords remain. The Traitor Lord Thule has been given given charge of the frontier territories and is running inspections on the rich ore clusters he inherited. Purge him. Assassination. Bonus. Bonus. Kill his escorts. Or challenge mode. Uh, nah. And training. Well, looks like we don't have much of a choice, so we're going after Thule, the miser. Okay. Oh, these are difficulty levels. Uh, let's see. So the slaughter's quick. Burning fleets dot the night skies of the heretic homeworlds. There's no honor here. Your foes are bloodthirsty, intelligent, and savage. They've had years to prepare. Heretic children grow up learning your tactics, studying your war machines, and wishing for your death. This will do. Interesting. I'm just going to stick with Invader for the time being. Okay. Upgrades. Oh, I actually get a number based on the number of crowns I have. So we have energy shields and juggernaut armor. And we can also get armor piercing rounds, shield piercing rounds, bomber chassis, auto cannon drone, betrayer module. Interesting. Carapace armor, shield extender, flak drone, repair drone, and some other stuff. That sounds fun. Primary weapon. Can't do the long rifle. Unlocked by doing missions. Fury missiles. Yeah. So we've got to do missions to grab them. This is... This is so metal. I, I'm trying to think of a way of describing it. It's it's very much... Uh, I'm going to say Warhammer 40k adjacent. Like, the writing on it feels... Brutalistic. Is the best way I could describe it. Okay. Possess Fighter, Cairo, Toggle Pause, might as well pause, move, oh wait, there's like, there's this, confirm move, but I might as well possess the fighter, I think I'm the only one here, okay, so I'm going to target the bonus, I might as well kill it. It's deep out of range. So if you like this game, you might also like, um, what was it? Okay. Keep killing the bonus if I can. There's one. the shotgun on this guy kind of oh what was it called nope actually seems like the machine gun is way more effective against him there's no music here which is interesting he's ejected That's interesting. But that's his escape pod. Well, he's dead. That was quick. I guess I might want to actually consider a higher difficulty level. That might have been too easy. Oh, there's music. It's just a little bit. Traitor flagship detected. Rival imminent. I could do the rendezvous. Uh, but you are outgunned. Okay, fine. I'll just leave. I was like, but maybe I could kill it? I have no idea. Yeah, that's the FTL fleet thing. You want to skedaddle. Okay. I don't know. I still have my heavy... Uh, my heavy turret, so I was like, or my heavy turret, my heavy missile, is like, well, maybe I could blast him, but the answer is no. Okay. Accuracy was pretty mediocre. And now we've got some more people to hunt down. Raid at Sumer's Cloud. That gets Fury Missiles. Or, Interceptor Fleet Size Increase. Oh, that's neat. So we do actually get some other ships. But no. A new way station is in the early stages of construction at Sumer's Cloud. Destroy the caches. Purge the workers. 
Okay. So I think this time I'm going to do Warlord. I'm curious about these. Oh. No. I guess we'll stick to Invader for the time being. It's fine. Uh, let's see. So we haven't unlocked anything new. So we have some options. Shield extender and carapace armor. So extra max energy, reduced rate, recharge stun shot, stun time. But what I really want is new gun. Oh well, it's fine. So it looks like you're supposed to almost redo these. Can you not hear the drums? Uh, no, it's there. Sorry. I'm just thinking in terms of like, I'm used to space western or like more uh, frenetic music for something like this. Okay. Making an example of the workers and... Let's see. Make an example of the workers and destroy the supply caches. There we go. Okay, turn this around. Who else do we have? We've got a bonus. Hello, bonus. There we go. Yeah, I guess for me, the uh, the drums are kind of just like super background. Okay, bonus is complete. Boy, that's a smoky trail. What else is over here? You seem to be kind of the singular defense defender of this entire setup. Well. Not for long. Eh, nope, looks like there's another one. I will go take it out. Still out of range. Looks like things become in range for me as soon as I'm at the 4.0. Okay. And seeing as I get one of these, lock on and bammo. Let's see the big missile. Yep. That's a satisfyingly large, large missile. All right. Well, let's go back over here. You ain't gonna catch me. I'm too fast. There's a scoreboard in competitive mode, but no player to player dogfights, I don't think. Yeah, it makes sense. I like the idea of it. It feels kind of bare bones, but in a way that would still be really sick. Uh, like, really cool for people. I'm curious about it, actually. Ooh, new weapon. Yellow jacket. Fury launcher de delivers variable salvos of anti-fighter warheads. Ooh. That sounds pretty good to me. I... Uh, let's see. So we're done with that one. I see. So there's also, yeah, the different difficulty levels, but I can come back to them when I feel like it. All right. INV Lancer has captured the Traitor Lord Jor, but it's been disabled in hostile territory. INV Hangman is being sent to recover the prisoner. Defend it. Okay. So instead of the Blunder Buzz, let's try the Fury Missile. Uh, let's see. So, chopping through shields but struggling against hull. Because of their renowned tracking ability, Fury Missiles excel at dismantling enemy drones. That sounds good to me. The personification of the Harbinger, Harbinger fleet. Our executors danced through the battlefield like angels of death, felling heretic fighters and capitals alike. Rad. Prisoner transfer at hollow field. Defend assault transport, transport hangman. Star system's already on high alert. Enemy reinforcements are arriving. Poor Yurik. Alas, poor Yorick. For I am here to murder you. We might as well just take them all out. Yeah, there aren't a whole lot of freelancer style dogfighty games. There are a couple. But not quite as many. Wait. As bonus. That's one of mine. Whoops. Do not shoot my own. Okay. Okay, so the missiles are not particularly punchy here. They're okay. 
but not amazing. Okay, so the bonus is they must survive. That's the deal. Oh, that's easy enough. If we can lock in on this distance. Nope. Wow. You know, they say, uh... They say those missiles are, you know, poor against hull, but still pretty effective if you ask me. Okay. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. There. Fair distance away, I think. Is that a second group? That is a second group. Like, I don't want to go too far, because I don't know who's closer. Unfortunately. Okay. These guys are most assuredly closer. Looks like they might have some kind of support ship. But I should remember to reload. Not that it really matters. I, I think this is one of the first games... I've ever seen that really does the idea of... Okay. They're doing fine. I think this is one of the first games... Okay, I might actually have to fight that. I am outgunned, yes. Okay. Bonus objective complete. All targets have... Okay, so I think now we just get out of here. Right? Yeah, system alert. We just get out of here. Just implement a little bit. Oh, that's close. But yeah, this is one of the first games uh, I think I've ever played that simulates the sound of fighting in space properly. You know, most games you kind of actually hear your guns going, but here it's muffled because the noise would be traveling only through your ship. Okay. Count and Countess Ursul are taking possession of their bribes. Find out what they are owed, then eliminate them both. Gets me the torpedo. Or bonus sentry guns. Let's go for the sentry guns. The cleric's fiery sermons were left unchecked, and now the traitor cannot help but gloat. Silence him in his defenses so we may loot his outpost later. Okay, so what do we have? I like the energy shields. I will probably keep those, but maybe not the juggernaut armor. It slows me down. Hurts my afterburner power. The extra damage is nice, but maybe I can get something... That does big damage. Ooh, armor piercing rounds, bonus damage to structure, capital, and container. Because if my missiles are good against shields, then maybe armor piercing rounds is a good idea. I should probably take a look at the rest of these. Kamikaze chassis. Ooh. Oh, fighter collision collision damage. Gap drive. Fighters with gap drives. Fighters only. I wonder if I can actually do like a capital ship. Fighters with gap drives may blink to a target. Engines are modified to expend bursts of energy, which project gravity fields around the vessel, causing exploitable instability in space-time. Face your tar intended target and double tap the warp movement ability button. Gap drive reset. I don't know, I think the armor piercing rounds are probably fine for me. Hey, and thank you Undead Pyro for the, what is that? Six month resub, eight month resub. My bad. But thank you. Murder at Elder Citadel. Assa assassinate the cleric. This is sick. It's got a lovely visual style. I wish the music was maybe a little bit more dramatic. You're now fielding two fighters. You may switch to any fighter in your field fleet from the tactical mode. You may also give orders to units in your fleet by using the order menu. Okay. Attack my target, bomb my target. Ram my target. Cover me. Let's do that. Okay. So, bonus destroy the sentry gun. 
Well, that's the cleric. There's the sentry gun. And then there's also the outpost. I'm a little curious about it. Does this game have HOTUS support? I'm pretty sure it does. It's also got VR support. Like, you could play this with a VR set and HOTUS, which I feel like is the most ideal way to play this ever. Okay, something's shooting at me. Here's the question. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see. How do I swap weapons? That's how I swap weapons. There we go. I'm just going to be drifting this sucker a bunch. Ooh, my poor shields. Ah, no, B is break. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I'm using the wrong weapon here. Boop. There he goes. Okay, so where's my escape vector? He's done. Looks like we've got some friends that are shelling my friend friendship. Oh, I haven't killed the cleric yet. Okay. There he goes. Okay. Now, I haven't actually killed this sucker. Yeah, he's just he's just here. I left his escape pod lurking. He's actually kind of bad. Got him. Traitor is dead. Now let's get out of here. I totally forgot they could have uh, escape pods, but I don't think it matters too much. PC has an achievement for running over an escape pod with the ship. That's amazing. Let's see, you're really showing some banger bangers today. I've been trying. Um, my thing is, for the last like couple months, I've pretty much exclusively been just really hyper focused on new and upcoming games, and I got a little sick of it. Uh, not to say that like. New and upcoming games can be bad, or are bad. Ooh, plus three destroyers. We zoom in, zoom back in. Okay, here we go. Three destroyers in the fleet size sounds great. There's also a fighter secondary weapon, but I think having big ships sounds rad. Um, But I got a little tired of... Uh, let's see. Did we get anything else? No, still don't have the long rifle. Don't have anything else I think this is fine um but yeah just got tired of of new and upcoming games because so many of them are early access unfinished or just outright bad and so I was like what if I just went back and actually played some games that I know are going to be good I think this game's biggest sin is just the fact that it wasn't finished in the way that it could have been finished you know that this could have had like a really like a longer dynamic cam campaign and stuff which I think would have been absurdly good But at the same time, for what it is, it's fine. Uh, it honestly kind of reminds me of like a really focused version of Everspace. Which I'm like super fine with. Uh, I rather enjoyed Everspace the other one
Okay, that's dead. Did I make Okay, there's the there's the last of the bonuses. Yeah, so what is this we're playing? This is the House of the Dying Sun. The Emperor is dead and I'm out for revenge. Okay, destroying the Let's see. Defends whatever my ship is. Okay. Yeah, shields are a little stinky. Sometimes kind of hard to spot. Okay, where's the next one? Now, are we destroying? I have no idea if we're destroying or, or what exactly. So I guess I'm just going to destroy everything that is now blue. We'll just take everybody else out. You look like you need to not be here. There we go. Lead the shots. Oh, it's an extraction team. Okay. No, you're dead. Enemy Enemies in space take too long to die. They just need to explode. Oops. There we go. What are you doing, sir? Not dying fast enough. That's the answer. Alright, anything else? I think we're good. Because, yeah, we have these shipping containers, but they're not... They're not doing anything. They're just kind of there. Honestly, these guys... Like, these outposts really remind me of the, uh... Like, the Homeworld ship. Reminds me so much of OG TIE, TIE Fighter X-Wing. Yeah! I'm, I'm still... I'm still gonna compare it slightly to... Like first person uh first person fighter view version of Homeworld, which would have been incredibly cool to have at some point. You know, can you imagine uh a remake of the Homeworld series except for you're not uh you know, you're not in control of the ships, they're just doing things automatically. Okay, I'm outgunned. Okay, I think I'm good. But, like, I still think it would be an incredibly, uh... It'd be an incredibly fun game where the AI is handling all of the, like, uh... The big RTS stuff. Your entire goal... Let's see. Okay. Builder's been captured. We're good to go. Uh, your entire goal is just to, you know, do mission objectives around the the actual mothership and whatnot. Uh, and so it, it's effectively just homeworld, but hey, you're just one of the mooks on the field as opposed to, you know, the person in control. And it actually simulates that. Oh, I think that would be really cool. It's honestly kind of what I'm getting out of this, feeling-wise. Okay, three destroyers. Well, breaking target, she revealed... While well, breaking the target, she revealed the location of an abandoned factory, allowing us to fabricate an attack group of destroyers. Their fire firepower is lacking, but these warships can keep much larger targets busy for quite some time. Use them wisely. Anyone know how this compares to Galaxy or Strike Suit Zero? I can't speak about Strike, Zer Strike Suit Zero. Omniflak, that sounds interesting. Assassinate the Broodmother. Okay, Priestess Hara has been spotted training prototype drones in the Firelands. Purge her. So, Galaxy is a little weird. Oh, I can actually control these suckers. I could give them armor-piercing rounds, but to some degree I almost kind of want them to just be tanky. Hull Vitality, Afterburner Power, Max Speed, Incoming AoE Damage, Shield Extender. Maybe. I'm thinking, honestly, for these guys, I might want to give them auto cannon drones. Because I think that could be kind of cool. Uh... But for this, we'll just go. Anyway, so uh, Galaxy is not a first-person game. Uh, Galaxy is very much a... 
Uh, Galaxy is kind of a top-down twin-stick shooter with some level of exploration. Uh, it has a decent story, uh, but I do remember it being pretty hard, like, in a way that I didn't really enjoy. But it had such a fantastic style to it that I've always wanted to go back and, and give it another shot. Okay, assassinate the brood mother, destroy all the ore containers. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go around. Okay, that was a little close. Yeah, I might as well do all the bonus objectives. And reload while I'm here. Interestingly, the Broodmother seems largely incapable of responding to me in a meaningful manner. Which is kind of nice. Okay, so who else do we have? We were just one of these guys. I'm never mind I'm taking some damage. Okay. Is this my target? This is my target. Er, nope. Ow. Wow. What happens when I lose? Well, I guess I'm controlling this interceptor now. I wonder if I can get it back. Oh, Broodmother is now dead. It's fine. I, I wonder if I get to make more ships or if I'm like totally out. I guess that's what I get for uh, being too single-minded. I might get rid of the... Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get rid of my missiles. We'll see what happens. It's, it's a little hard to commentate over this game. It's one of those where it's like, it feels like nothing is happening, but I'm I'm succeeding pretty well. Uh, let's see, Omniflak. Deter both pirates and missile class weaponry. Who uses Omniflak? Uh, let's see, heavy artillery. A frigate. Okay, what about this? A pulse. Fighter secondary weapon. Uh, let's see. I, oh, that's a flagship bounty. Or, no, I don't know. Do you want to get a frigate? I'm going to get a frigate. Uh, let's see. So what is this one? The Templar from Koth is running repairs at Outpost Goal. We have a limited amount of time before her carrier systems are brought back online. INV Zealot has been dispatched to assist you in eliminating the heretic. Okay, so I still have two interceptors. That's good. I don't think I have any other weapons. There's the pulse. Torpedoes. More torpedoes. Omniflak. So point defense cannon versus Omniflak. Why not? Okay, and it looks like I get all my ships back, so as long as I don't lose too much, we're good. Okay. I love this warping visual. That is so damn slick. Alright, so I'll try and take out... Assassinate the Templar, and then bonus... Destroy all freighters. Okay. Bonus targets destroyed. Are the little guys out? No. There we go. I appreciate that it gives me a fairly decent reticle if I am on target. There we go. Okay, so where's our actual objective? Wreck that shit. Oh boy.
like you okay I might just want to ignore that what are these things are these fighters yep looks like we do have enemy fighters okay let's kind of burst through this and get my shields back real quick there's fighter Okay, there we go. Where are ya? Whoa! Lost my shields right quick there. Yeah, the problem with drifting is it puts me very much in the line of fire. Okay. There we go. There goes one. Next fighter. I got plenty of shields. Yeah, because if I can smoke most of these basic fighters... We're golden. Okay, so where's the objective? Okay. I don't know how much damage I can do to certain things. That's rough. Okay, so I gotta destroy this sucker. All right, there we go. There's the damage. I was I was worried for a second I wasn't going to be able to do too much to this this boyo. I wonder if I need to be focused on Okay. Turrets off. Whoops. Bridges offline. Alright, what about the engines? Please tell me I can destroy this sucker. Come on, there he goes. Okay, we're good. Wait, now I have to assassinate the Templar. Where are they? There we go. Whoa, did that take out the whole station? No, it just took out the ship. All right, we're good to go. Can I switch to control one of the bigger ships? I think I can. It said their firepower isn't great though. So I'm almost wondering if my destroyers, oh boy, my destroyers are getting ruined. But they're there as distractions. I'll have to check. Next time we launch into a mission, I'll see if I can take, take control of Big Gun. I think we just unlocked a frigate too. So I might actually have, like, full-on capital ships that I can start controlling. Okay. Control of a beam frigate. We're actually getting really close to the False Emperor. I think I'm probably going to want to go back. So there's the bomb. There's an interceptor. Yeah, let's just keep increasing our fleet size. Okay, Ember Lance. I'll probably just keep what I've got. What if my destroyers have worse firepower than your fighter? Don't know. Oh, right. I was going to look into. So we got a couple of these. Auto cannon drones. Self versus light targets, but they're highly susceptible to hostile flak. Yeah, let's try auto cannon drones. On me. And these guys. I'll keep the frigate chunky. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens if I just bring more firepower to this. Okay. But yeah, I want to see if I can control a frigate. Okay. Because this fighter... It's the 
Bastion. Uh, let's see. That's the destroyer drone. Profit. I don't think I can possess. Nope. I cannot possess a capital ship. I am sad. I'm not like that sad, but that'd be cool. What are these? What are the skulls? Well, the prince is dead. Holy shit. They took the main main mission in seconds. Okay. Let's see, how much damage did we do? Not that much to it. Ooh. We got smoked. That hurt. I think one of them's got missiles. Okay. Can I... Okay. Attack Komen's guard with... Cool. So I can go into a tactical menu to actually... Tell my dudes. Can I get those missiles to destroy? I have no idea. Boy, I am burning. Honestly? Uh, let's see. This is a pain. Just have everybody go for it. It's a shame I think my, my initial torpedo did not work. Maybe I should try the bomb. Okay. That's going down. How are you not dead yet? Did I not bounce off of that? See if I can set fire to their bridge. Oh, I think I blew myself up. Well, that's fine. Interceptors remaining, one. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, where are they? That's the flagship. Merchant's Pride. Nope. There's the Vendetta. It's in a... Okay, bonus is done. We're good. I don't know if... Uh... Oh, shoot, what was it? I definitely know in uh, Star Wars there was a moment where somebody rammed a, a Star Destroyer bridge and it was like a big hit. I don't think that I managed to pull something like that off, but I'm going to pretend that I did. This is this is really cool. Like I said, it's hard to talk talk over. I'm just a little too focused on what I'm what I'm doing, and my my brain isn't quite capable of uh, providing full commentary commentary for it. Interestingly enough, we're actually pretty close to the end. Now, the game did mention kamikaze armor, so ramming damage is a thing. Oh, absolutely. Um, okay, I think. I think I'm going to go back to the armor-piercing rounds. I don't know how these drones even work. I 
And we have three interceptors now. So yeah, we'll just go interceptors with many, many guns. I think we might actually be able to just beat this in one sitting. Which, you know, I think that's a bit of a downside because on one hand, like... It's a shame to have a game that is so short. Okay, uh, let's see, what is my bonus objective? Secondary fighters. Oh, fighters? Freighters. Let's ruin that guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was nice and easy. I think I might be overpowered at this point, uh, in the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow him and just shred his shields. There we go. But it's a bit of a shame that this can be beaten in... ...in an hour. On one hand, like, me personally, I love that. I love when games are that short. Because it, it gives me the opportunity to get a full games experience... ...without having to, um... ...you know, spend a hundred hours on it. You know, I'm... I'm playing Dragon's Dogma on the side, just for my... Well, not for myself, but for the Unmissable Games Club. And... It's fun, but it's long. It's a lot of content, and it's a lot to get through. Whereas, like, this, I can have pretty much the full experience... ...in an hour. And then if I want to have, like, a greater experience, there's a challenge mode, there's a harder difficulties. I see. So ECM Pulse is a stun. Looks like there might be a little bit more. Hey, there's the long rifle. This sounds like my kind of thing. Uh, let's see. We do have a new thing other than that, but nah. The one I maybe consider would be like... The repair drone could be kind of interesting, but I think I'm fine with what I've got. May as well just ram the target with your biggest ships. That'd be... You know, for the final mission, I might just do that full, just, no mercy ram. If that's viable. Whoa, okay. So, eliminate the physician and their escorts. Fair enough. I don't know what the sensor is. It has no shields. Okay. I don't think he is particularly durable against torpedoes. Here. Nope. I'm just going to have everybody focus fire it. Oops. Whatever. I... It did some damage. I could just keep ramming the thing, but why? Okay. There you are. Oh. You look like you are particularly vulnerable to missiles. Hello, sir. No more missiles for you. Wow, that was quick. That was incredibly quick. Note to self, ram more shit. It's incredibly expensive, the gap drive lets you blink right into knife range on any target. That sounds fun. I, I don't think I'm gonna grind that far. I just don't think it's in the cards for me. But it's there. I don't know. Yeah, too many ge good games, modern problems. It's very strange. Like, years ago I would have laughed at myself and said like, what are you talking about? Like, why is this even a problem? And now I'm just like, holy shit, I just, I can't. I can't find the time to cover all the things that I want to cover, and it's... It's not miserable. It's just disappointing. You know, I was talking to uh, Vac for a little bit when he was here earlier, and, you know, talking about, like, being unable to really decide, you know, what is worth my time versus... not. Okay. Kill the Master at Arms. Scan all the containers. Scan? 
Ow. Oh, he's got shields, doesn't he? Me using the long rifle here seems not great. Okay. And it's... Well, there he goes. Okay, what about the other one? Where is the other one? Where am I? What am I doing? There it is. Okay, so how do I scan these? Because I might want to work on that. I see. Two scan targets remain, so I got to just get closer. Good to know. Very Star Foxy asteroid. Gosh, could you imagine if we actually got a Star Fox that played like this? I like the rail shooter aspects of it, but I always liked the planets where. Uh, the planets where you actually had a little bit more six degree of freedom going on. Okay. There it is. I don't know how my capital ships aren't all just doing going after this guy. But it doesn't matter. I guess they must have gotten distracted with all the other things in the system. Wow. What? I don't know what the hell that was, but he just got one shot? Yeah, Starlink was pretty close to that. It was! And I... The space elements of Starlink, I think, were... Incredible, and I'm honestly a little bit disappointed that uh, that game didn't catch on more, but I'm also not surprised. Because it, it's it's like such a tragedy. Somebody finally came along and made like a very good uh, kind of open world Star Fox game, and then they just absolutely wasted their opportunity <laughs> by having this like weird actual like planetary exploration thing. We were, like, hovering around and grabbing resource extractors, and then, you know, also the fact that it was an Ubisoft game, which just inherently is all, you know, every Ubisoft game is dirty. Yeah, the problem is these suckers have shields. Huh, those sniper guns are weird. I might not actually want them. They're really effective doing a ton of damage at a long distance, but they seem to be kind of worthless against... They seem to be kind of worthless against shields. Yeah, because the shields just come back while you reload. Still kind of fun, though. Okay, is there another ex escort? Yes, there is. There you go. Kill him. They're going for the next. I liked it, but the Ubisofting got to be a bit much. Even the planetary stuff wasn't bad. Tell you at a point where it felt like your actions weren't doing anything. Yup.
Okay. So I can just snipe these guys from afar. That's obscene. Oh, but if they have shields, it's worthless. Okay. Bonus complete. All targets destroyed. Because there's one more. I'm confused by this. Who are you, if not bonus? Wait, assassin assassination failed. Targets escapes. Well, that's unfortunate. Restart that mission. I guess they got away. I didn't know they could. Okay. Well, now I know. Now I know how not to waste my my sniper shots. Because these long. Okay. These guys are out of range. But I can potentially snipe them. 74%. I'm going to take out the non-shielded bonus guys. And let my, my main fleet go after the other group. It's not dead yet. Okay. Then the other one. These snipey guns are fun. They're weird. But they seem like they have a ton of potential for just ruining things. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is supposed to be a bonus objective. There we go. There goes their destroyer. And now uh, yeah, now all I have to do is just get up in here and wreck this guy's business. I I like the snipey guns. Because it means I don't have to dogfight him to take him out. I just have to point and make sure I'm accurate. And then they're gone. So for th this guy, I think I can actually just like pop behind him. Did I get him? No, I did not. Okay. Sneak through. Next subsystem. I don't know how much damage I'm actually doing to this dude. Alright. Message sent. Yep, we're all good. Much easier that time around. Turns out trying to snipe, uh, snipe shields is not worth it. I could potentially try and do... Uh, I could potentially try and put on the thing that makes it so I do bonus damage versus shields. Uh, to try and, like, really snipe things from afar without ever engaging. But that sounds incredibly boring. Would be kind of fun. Just show up on the edge of a system, have enough range, and just destroy things. Frigates to stay at range and deliver exceptional destruction to enemy hulls. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. I guess we're just beating this today. Our last dreadnought. INV Vindictus has been outfitted with Scourge Warheads. The only way to the throne, throne world is through the Bastille Gate. Thankfully, you've got them by surprise. See to it that the Vindictus makes the crossing. So, escort should be fine. Okay. So, heavy autocannon, torpedo. Pummel shields from long range, ineffective against hull, and extremely vulnerable to point defense. It's fine. And then, Ember Lance. Or... I don't know. Maybe we just go extremely hard on uh, shelling things from afar for the next couple of rain, uh, next couple of missions. Holy shit! My oh wait, no, that's the flagship up there. 
Damn, that's a big ship. I, I, I'm going to repeat my mild disappointment of, boy, this game would have been incredible. Like, truly, absurdly incredible. If it had had the opportunity... Uh, to get, like, more content added and, you know, filled out and whatnot. Okay. We have a carrier. I think I might try and snipe the carrier from afar. I don't know what, at what point we have range. Okay, that one's got shields. Not really my forte. Let me do five damage to this sucker. What if... That's the bridge. There we go. I don't think I hit the bridge, unfortunately. Did I get the torpedo? No, I didn't actually kill the torpedo. Okay, got to get my shields back before I do any more of that. Okay, this is a good time for a nice spin. I don't think I can do anything about missiles. Nope, missed me. Okay, how much HP does he still have? Uh, let's try it. next subsystem. This bridge is messed up. Engines. Yeah, that's something I could aim for. Are you not dead yet? Okay, its engines are messed up. Is it dead? Did we take out the whole dang carrier? There it is. Let's see. I don't think I have anything else to do. What other foes do we have? Whatever this sucker is. Never mind, that's dead. I think. I think this guy's actually covering him with his shields, which is rude. Goodbye, shields. Goodbye, foe. Well, never mind. That's gone. What do we even have left? We're gonna have company, but I think that's the only enemy remaining. I think we're almost good. How are we doing? Let's see. We have flak drones. Got it. I can just kind of pop his little drones. I'm curious if you can take out the flagship. Probably, but I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, let's get out of here. It would be fun to try and fight the thing. Maybe. Wish I had the skill to take advantage of drifting in this game. You need spider fingers. I think it would be easier with HOTUS. Like a, a proper flight stick or like the full flight getup, I think would have no... Way less trouble, maybe? I'm using a controller and it's a little harder. 
Like, I just feel like I don't have enough fingers. I can see a mouse not being too bad. Okay. Is this it? Inferno at Raltum Prime. They know you're coming. There's nothing they can do now. Extinguish the light of the throne world. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, and frankly... I don't know, do we want to do... Oh, hold that. Ooh. Yeah, let's bring the... Let's bring the bomb. Because the torpedoes, good against shields, not great against uh, hull. Obviously, I have to be accurate with it if I do want to fire it, but still. A steam controller with the extra buttons might help. I could, yeah, I can see that. I play Everspace with the mouse and keyboard. Honestly, uh, that's how I play Everspace as well. So, because so many of my ships are outfitted with extreme range, uh, they pretty much just lay into everything at a distance. And it's kind of great. Wait, oh god. Are we... Defend the Warhead launch. Assassinate the False King. We are... We are... Glassing the planet. That's incredibly dark. Now, I think I'm going to have to go after the flagship. I think that's, in fact, exactly what uh, the only thing that we can do. Okay, next one. What's next? You're just a frigate. You're a frigate. Okay, uh, let's see. You want to be targeted by buying battleships. Because I'm pretty sure my battleships are the ones with the anti... anti-shields. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I don't know what this thing is doing, but it needs to stop. Let's just delete it. Yeah, they took out one of my torpedoes with just like... Gobs. Oh, wow. We've already killed like five billion people. All right, there goes whatever the hell that thing was. Okay, let's go get rid of the heavy Corvette. Okay, where are you? There you are. Or he's dead. Wow. That is effective. Okay, wrong one. I should go after the false king. But I'm... Do we even have any... Or, not the false king, the traitor king. Okay, wow, he is just getting shelled into oblivion. Nope. I want the traitor king's next us subsystem. I... Shit, I don't even have to do anything to this guy. You know what I'm going to do? Show up a little late. <laughs> okay, where is he? I... Turns out just making all of my ships artillery. I don't even need to do anything. Do I still have the bomb for him? I did, but it turns out my ships are too strong. Uh, so now I guess we're just waiting for the... Uh, the bomb to go off. Oh, that one has shields. 
at moot trying to snipe a heavy shielded enemy. There we go. Gosh, the precision on that is so satisfying. And the double tap takes out pretty much every interceptor. I really gotta play some more dogfighting games at some point. I think that would be like a, a really... Uh, oh wow. Let's take a look at the planet. If I can find it. The hell is it? Oh, there it is. Ho ho! Damn, they've lost 10 billion people so far. That's, uh... I'm helping. Actually, wait, I am. I don't think it makes a ma uh, major difference, but... Toss bombs. What else were they going to do anyway? Not like we have any targets to shoot. Are they going to hit? Does it matter? Wow! Just absolute no mercy. Like, I know it's a shame that they, this never got finished. But at the same, uh, like, never finished to full completion. But maybe that's okay. In space, no one can hear you war crime. Oh yeah, we're like terrible religious zealots. Huh, my ships did re uh, respawn. Oro's back. Interesting. Oh, wait. What the hell is that? I don't know. Well, I guess we're all dead? Question mark? As your host body disintegrates, you feel the doomed pilot remembering the false king's final transmission. Why did you do this? What was it for? Oh, interesting. We have a bunch of options. To avenge the Emperor. I don't know. The Emperor made his nobles immortal. The Emperor brought prosperity to trillions. The Emperor guarded the arts and sciences against the merchant and the soldier. And his own house nobles betrayed him. The Emperor is avenged. The galaxy will suffer through an age of darkness. The Emperor will return, and his enemies will mourn the day they turn from him. Man, what an absolute badass game. House of the Dying Sun. Like, yeah, okay. Took me an hour and ten minutes to play through the entire thing, and obviously, like, there's more that I could have done. Uh... Okay, cool. So it throws me back. But yeah, so I can also go through every single one of these on harder difficulties, including all the way up to Dragon. Um, oh, wow. The Ulvictar, the Killing Trance. Extremely difficult, interceptors only, as if that matters to a Skyamak. Huh. But yeah, you were puppeteering their troops against them, which I think is incredibly cool. That's why losing ships was meaningless, because it... it it had, uh, it had no bearing on, on your ability to fight and die, because you just keep chucking. I think very much this is the kind of game that, like, on one hand it's tragic, it's so short, and didn't get more content to it. But at the same time, if you, if you ever see this game on sale for, like, five bucks, pick it up and give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. The visual style is great. And, you know, for just a brief second, you can be a glorious Avenger against a bunch of uh, interstellar uh, assholes, I guess. It's great. And I really, I really hope at some point, somewhere along the way, the developer manages to cobble together a group of, uh, I guess, supporting devs to make another one of these. Yeah, because it looks like Marauder Interactive's LLC... They haven't made anything else. I don't know. I do not know what they've worked on uh, in the six years ever since. Probably a defunct studio. But like I would love to see more like this. It is what it is. Because one of my problems with most of these dogfighting games is they're all freelancer style. You know, go out, do repetitive bounty hunting, and 
whatever missions over and over and over again until you have a big enough ship that you can do whatever. And this is just the concentrated experience uh, without any of the fluff, and I love it. And I like the fact there was the there was some customization. I would have liked to see even more. I think that could have actually been really cool. But alas, no dice, and it's fine. So, with that, I am tired. So thank you all so much for watching tonight. This is a ton of fun. I'll see you tomorrow.